Hello everyone and welcome to the finale of Neo. Well, here it is. Unfortunately, this playthrough is gonna end a little more unceremoniously than I initially hoped because this mission and the segment with the three Kellys can go fuck itself. Seriously. As you know, I had my ups and downs with Neo throughout this very, very long playthrough, although to be fair, I did take a couple of months off for Dark Souls Remastered. However, I always thought that this game uh, presented a fair difficulty most of the time. I would say that this game, more so than Dark Souls, any of the Souls games, even Bloodborne, which many people probably consider the hardest, pushes it. It really pushes it with the difficulty sometimes. Enemies deal incredible amounts of damage. You know how many times I've pointed it out. No, many, no matter what armor you wear, what type of weapon you use, enemies usually either two-shot or three-shot you. Some even one-shot. And you know, that was kind of a thing. Okay, we get through it, we grind. All right, the bosses, I actually found most of the bosses easier than some of the regular sections. However, this section where it spawns three boss level enemies that can either one shot or two shot you are extremely fast very aggressive have ranged attacks have grabs insta kill grabs yeah this is this is where i'm done uh i i again as i said i've taken a lot of shit from this game and i was like yeah, yeah you know what this is how neo plays it but this this is way beyond anything rational in terms of difficulty uh, one of the, if you're a Souls fan like me, which most of you are, you know that everyone's favorite term is artificial difficulty versus organic difficulty. How I understand those terms is organic difficulty is, well, the Souls games. Enemies are tough, but unless you're an idiot or you make stupid mistakes or before you learn the boss's patterns, it seems really difficult, however, after you figure out the tactics, you can beat them. As you know, there are many, many different ways to take on enemies in Souls. You can use a shield, which makes every fight way, way, way easier. Or you can be a pro dodger, you know. If you're in Dark Souls 1, get the wood grain ring, you know, flip around. That is what I would kind of classify as organic difficulty. Like... The game is fair but challenging, that's what everyone always talks about, that the Souls games are fair but challenging. This, this section goes way beyond fair and challenging. This is the exact opposite, this is unfair and challenging. Putting three Kellys, as I said, that insta-kill you or two-shot you, have ranged attacks, close range attacks, grabs, debuffs, you name it, this is no different than when you select the hardest difficulty in a Call of Duty game and enemy bullets just kind of always headshot you and kill you in two hits and you are surrounded by 15 grenades at the same time. It is no different. This is absolutely no different. This is almost impossibly difficult. I'm sure there are some like cheap builds. I've seen how people kind of overpower uh, certain builds, especially with the Kusigarama. I mean, look at this. Like, look at this. They stun lock you, and they literally deal over half my HP with a ranged attack. Like an arrow. So yeah, uh, I've seen people kind of overpower their characters with the Kusigarama, and that's something... Okay, sure, I could do that. Maybe I can respec, but... First of all, I've gotten rid of most of my Kusigaramas, but still, again, you shouldn't have to resort to kind of overpowering your builds or making cheap characters to get through sections like souls is perfectly doable level one i mean people have done that game uh with um like broken straight swords and shit like that because the game presents a fair difficulty i don't know if you could do this section with the fucking wooden sword i'd like to see anyone try there's probably someone crazy enough to do that again I'm all for challenge, you know I love challenging games, and again, I've been fine with this game apart from a couple of sections up until now, I've always had a problem and you know, I again, I've voiced it plenty of times that I think enemies, normal enemies deal way, way too much damage in this game, way too much damage. 
Difficulty doesn't come from the fact that you cannot make mistakes. Difficulty comes from the fact that you should be punished for making stupid decisions like dodging around like an idiot or not conserving your stamina. In this game, things feel like you literally have to play perfectly 100% of the time. Oh wait, you missed a dodge? Here, this enemy is going to take two thirds of your life. And so you're either here, as you can see here, I tried the living weapon, insta grabbed, and almost insta killed. Yeah, this is, yeah, as you can see, this is not fun. At least I don't think it's fun. Here are a montage of some of my attempts. Uh, neither of them, well, ni not neither. There's quite a few here, but none of them have been very successful. So yeah, this feels like you have to kill these three boss tier enemies without making a single and I mean a single mistake because they work off each other as well and yeah you break the pots you'll have more enemies they work off each other as well they debuff you look at that look at that combo so yeah this is again I've taken a lot from this game I had fun overall I still am positive to this game but this yeah this is not I still consider that I beat the game because the end credits rolled, we've seen the ending, this is just a plus mission, and yeah, 1800 damage for a ranged attack, yeah. So again, I still consider this game beaten. I've seen the ending, I've beaten the final boss. Yeah, this is just something extra. I also heard that the final final boss, 100 eyes I think it's called. He is supposed to be mega, mega difficult as well, I've heard that. He does like some cheap shit by summoning these laser shooting eyeballs. And yeah, no, this is... Maybe one of these days I will make a new build and uh, I will use different weapons, a different setup, more kind of health and armor focused and I will make it through this section. But no, I'm not going to sit here for an extra, I don't know, five days just trying this section over and over again until by some miracle I do it. I have better things going on in my life. There are more games that I want to play. There are currently a ton of games that I'm enjoying. And again, I had fun with this game. I'd recommend it. I'd say pick it up, play it, because it's a very unique experience. Uh, way more Ninja Gaiden than um, Dark Souls, I would say. In fact, Ninja Gaiden is what I would describe this as, specifically Ninja Gaiden Sigma, which was kind of the same type of game where it presented an insane amount of difficulty where you literally had to play perfect 100% of the time. It's the exact same thing. It, like, you, you see, even with my living weapon, did you see how little HP I took? You can see that I'm like, trying to dodge, but you're constantly scared of the third one sniping you and killing you like this. Yeah, this is the equivalent of, I don't know, I don't even know what to compare it to, like having three Pontiff Sullivans coming at you at the same time, where one is challenging. I thought, you know, Kelly, he was a pretty easy boss, but, you know. He was what it was, he wasn't technically the final boss, but three of them, yeah, that's not, that's not, that ain't it, chief, that ain't it. So hopefully you guys are not too disappointed, I'm kind of just rambling here, I wanna, there's like a good 12 minutes of me doing this, so I will try having some intelligent commentary, like this, perfect example, perfect example, one mistake, you're dead. No redos, no learning from your mistake, no adaptation, just back to the checkpoint you go, asshole. I can't even talk. I, To be honest, this kind of pissed me off, this section. Uh, but, you know, had to collect my Quan and still remember that I had fun with this game. I enjoyed it. Uh, the game really... The atmosphere is unique. I think the story is interesting. Next time I'll play on my own, because I do want to play this game on my own, replay it. I will play... I See, I can't talk. I will pay more attention to the story because I think it's fairly interesting. I like the combat system overall. It's very technical. Some of the things that I don't like, uh, aside from 
the artificial difficulty, which I will call what it is. I think this is artificial difficulty. Uh, enemies that just straight up one or two shot you all the time. Uh, one of the things I don't like is the lack of enemy variety. You essentially fight, see, insta-killed, by a move that pretty much tracks you 180. Um, one of the things I didn't like is uh, the lack of enemy variety. Essentially, from the first mission to the last mission, you fight the three, five or six enemies. You have dudes with spears, swords, uchigatanas, whatever. You have this demon, it comes in ninja varieties, sword, axe, the usual. There are some couple of archers, the ogre, and the weird big-tongued ogre. So, and the roly fire thingy. That's about as many enemies as there are in this game, which honestly gets boring after a while. So one of the things I would wish is for Neo 2, because there is a Neo 2 coming, is definitely more variety in enemies. Like, they got so creative with the bosses. The bosses in this game are awesome. There's a lot of variety, good challenge. I wish they kind of uh, took that approach with the enemies as well and, you know, not make you fight the same six or seven guys throughout the entire game. I'm gonna kind of slowly wrap it up here. There's a little bit more to go. This was what I would consider my best attempt at these three Kellys and you will see that it's it's not even close to being enough. Um, again, I'm looking forward to replaying this game on my own. If I get to this section and I'm like super overpowered and I can just murder them easily, there will be kind of a bonus episode of me actually killing the final boss. There's also DLC, which I've heard is even more ridiculously difficult. So yeah, this is my best attempt at the Kellys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Hope you guys are not too disappointed, but this is the end of Neo. Thank you for sticking by, thank you for all the comments, thank you for all the tips, because you guys gave a lot of helpful tips and all that. And yeah, I'll see you with whatever I do next. I am planning on a couple of interesting playthroughs, not even playthroughs, live streams, but there will be more announcements and kind of discussions surrounding that. For now, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Neo, and I am signing off. Peace out.